The greatest investment you can ever make. Hey, it's Anthony Anarino, and there's one thing that you need to invest in more than anything else if you want long-term wealth, if you want long-term income, and if you want long-term happiness. And that one thing is you. You are the greatest asset you have and the more you build that asset, the more that asset is going to serve you and carry you through life in every way, shape, or form. So I want to talk to you about five investment ideas that you can make in yourself. And let's start right here on the web with the web. Never before in the history of mankind has there been so much access to so much information. And I already told you that all the answers don't belong here on the internet. Most of them are inside. What you need to know, you probably already know, you just need to act on. But if there is something you need to know, you can find it on the web and you can find it at my blog and you can find it here on YouTube and you can find it in the countless other places on the web that provide you with big ideas, whether it's sales or marketing or accounting, whatever it is, you can find it and you can find training programs on Udemy, whatever that is, on uh, Linda, on LinkedIn. You can find things anywhere you want where you can get a web resource for free or next to free, no problem. That's the cheapest and easiest way for you to start investing in yourself. But the second way, and probably one of my all-time favorite ways, is a book. And this is a uh, first edition, I think, of Seven Habits, cost $25. Takes about six or eight hours to read this book. This book, by itself, will change your life dramatically and in positive ways. So for $25, in six or eight hours of your time, you can get a lifetime of wisdom from another individual that studied some area, in this case human performance, and figured out how to codify this into a set of rules that you can follow. And all you have to do is spend the time with it and you get everything that that person knows for instead of 20,000 hours, say, which is I would say Covey maybe has 40 or 60,000 hours of life experience in this book, you get it for 25 bucks in six or eight hours, all you have to do is apply it. You can afford 25 bucks to invest in yourself. There's also training programs you can get. I'm gonna pull one up here. This is um, Robin's Madonna's Coaching. This is the Core 100, this is the Core 200. I, I don't know how much to tell you that cost, but I'm gonna say each one of those courses was thousands of dollars, um, probably $2,500 to $3,000 for each one of those courses. There's probably a hundred DVDs. I watched the modules online when I did it. But the strategies in strategic intervention and understanding how to help people change and watching somebody deconstruct what Tony Robbins did has allowed me to have a capacity to make greater change in other people I never could have had without this. And I have hundreds of hours in this. And I've got thousands of dollars in this. But I made that investment in myself because I get to use this for the rest of my life. I bought these years ago. I get to use them for the rest of my life. I get to apply what I learned over and over again in many different situations. And I always want to try to continue to bring tools into that toolkit. I got another DVD set there called the Superhuman Operating System. And it's another framework for looking at human behavior and human performance. And that cost a lot of money too, probably $1,000. And I've gone through it two or three times. But I can apply that now to my work. And so it's improved what I do on an individual basis with other individuals. The other thing that you can do is pay for events. And if you're here and you're a salesperson, I'm going to accuse you of something that you might not be guilty of, but you probably are. Salespeople do not invest in themselves. They don't invest in books. They don't invest in training. And they don't invest in going to events. So they won't pay to go themselves. Instead, they'll say, my manager won't give me the money to go to this event. And you get to be a salesperson for the company you work for right now. And then you get to be a salesperson for another company. And maybe in the future, you're a salesperson for you because you start your own company. But the investment that you make in yourself isn't for your company. The investment you make in yourself by going to an event and getting training is that you get that investment returned to you many times over for the rest of your life. So if you're a young person and you think to yourself, I don't have the money to go to that event, you should be thinking, I don't have the money not to go to that event, or I don't have the money not to take that training, or I don't have the money not to read that book, or I don't have the time not to read that book. You just have to decide what's important to you. 
And then the other thing that you need to invest in is coaching. And uh, I'm not pitching you coaching because I don't do that on a personal basis like this, except in rare exceptions where it totally makes sense for both of us. But here's the thing. Coaching will dramatically improve your results and it will cut the learning curve for you. You will get the results you want faster if you invest in coaching. I've paid for Anthony Robbins coaching programs. Uh, they, they were good and they weren't my favorite. I paid for Franklin Covey coaching and I liked that a lot. Still not what I really wanted in some ways because I needed something a little more than what their standard program gave. And then I've paid for executive coaching. I've paid for coaching for personal health and fitness. I paid for cycling coaching. I've had a private coach when I was practicing Aikido. Anytime you want to bend the learning curve and get your competency level up to where you want it faster, you get a coach and that cuts the time it takes you to produce results. And what you're doing is you're buying that time. You're saying, I want to bend this curve down in my direction so I get competency sooner. And coaching does that better than anything else. These are five investments you need to make in yourself. You need to spend time learning on the web, whatever that means for you. Maybe it's my blog, maybe it's YouTube, maybe it's something else. You need to invest in books and you need to invest the time to study those books. You need to invest in training. You need to go to events where you can network and meet in meet other people and put yourself in an immersive place where you're going to get all this content and you need to pay for coaching. Those are the five investments you need to make in yourself. If you want to get better faster, you invest in yourself. If you want to have the same year over and over again, don't invest in yourself. And uh, Kay Anders Erickson, who's the expert on expertise, says, I've been walking for 50 years and I'm not getting any better at it. You can have the same year and you can have the same sales year over and over and over again unless you do something about it. I'm Anthony Anarino. Hit the subscribe button. Make the investment of showing up here every day. Go out to thesalesblog.com, sign up for the newsletter, make an investment of 20 minutes that you spend with me on Sunday morning, and I'll get your head on straight for Monday, and you can hit the ground running. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you tomorrow, because this is every day.